Hello friends, welcome back. So in this video, I will be discussing about various types of bugs in this video. I will be discussing around 12 different types of bugs in this video. Let's start one by one. The first uh, type of defect which we normally come across is functional bugs. What is functional bugs? The functional bugs is nothing but when the system does not perform as expected. That kind of bugs we call it as the functional bugs. For example, Clicking on a submit button does not the save forum. That is also a functional defect or even a forgot password feature sends an incorrect reset link or even search functionality returns no results when data exists. That is the time we categorize that kind of bugs as a functional bugs. Second types of bugs is logical bugs. Here we are categorizing this logical bugs when there is a implementation is completely wrong in terms of business logic or algorithm that is the time we will log the defects as a logical bugs if i give three example for this logical bugs are discount calculation applies more than once suppose it should apply only once if it applies more than once in a program then that bug is a issue and that is a logical issue. Similarly, the tax is calculated based on the wrong region. Even that is also a logical uh, issue. Similarly, loan interest rate is miscalculated due to wrong formula. All these three examples comes under wrong implementation of business logic or algorithm. And we categorize this kind of bugs as a logical bugs. And the third category of bugs, the syntax bugs. The syntax bug is a bug when we categorize as a syntax bug is when there is a error in the code syntax that prevents the compilation or execution. That is the time we call those defects or bugs under syntax category. For example, a missing a semicolon in a Java causes a compiler issue. That bug we call it as a syntax bug. Even typing equal equal instead of equal equal here if you can see right there is a space is there when there is a space is there this kind of issue also we call it as a syntax error or misspelled variable name causing runtime error even this category of bugs also we log into syntax bugs and fourth type of bugs which are performance bugs performance bugs are nothing but it is going to affect this issue or this bug is going to affect the speed and efficiency of the software. When there is a speed and efficiency issue comes, then we have to log the defects under performance topic, which is performance bugs. Example for this performance bugs are, if the web page takes more than 10 seconds to load, this is also one kind of issue we will have to log under performance. An application becomes unresponsive when processing larger files. That time also we have to log it as a performance issue. Third one is high memory usage while running background tasks. That situation also we should log bugs under performance category. And the fifth type of uh, bugs is a security bugs. Security bugs are nothing but there is a weakness in the application or app where that allows unauthorized access or it does the data breaches that type of uh, functionality we will have to log under security bugs category here also we are given three examples here login accepts sql injection inputs indirectly we are trying to add the system if that is allowing it then there is a security breach is there and the second one is the passwords are stored in the plain text even that is also a crucial and critical and we'll have to ensure that these passwords should be encrypted not in storing in the plain text that kind of bugs also will have to log under security bugs and third third one is any user can access admin panel via url manipulation even this kind of bugs also we should log under security bugs and the sixth one is usability bugs so usability bugs are the bugs which is having a problem that makes software or to use or it gives confusion to the end user that kind of 
bugs will have to log under usability bugs. For example, no confirmation message after we submitting the form. That is also a usability issue and icons without tool tips or labels, even that kind of issues also you should log under usability bugs and poor contrast between text and the background. Even this kind of issues also we should log under usability bugs. And the next type of uh, bugs are compatibility bugs. This kind of bugs we normally we see when software works in one environment but it fails in an another environment. For example, a given website work in Chrome browser but it is not working in Safari. Then we should log it as a compatibility issues. Similarly, app crashes on iOS 17 version but runs perfectly fine in iOS 16 version. Then that kind of issue should log under compatibility bug. And third one is a certain features are broken when viewed on mobile screen. Here the issue works in desktop but this issue is we are seeing in mobile screen. Even this kind of issue also we have to log under compatibility bugs. And the eighth one is crash bugs. Especially this kind of bugs where application is getting crashes under specific conditions or actions. That kind of bugs will have to log under crash bugs. For example, app crashes when uploading a unsupported file version. If you are uploading a supported version, it is not crashing. But when we are trying to upload a file which is not supported one, that is the time application is crashing that will have to log under crash bugs category. Second example is pressing back button repetitively causing crash of the application as well. Even this kind of bugs also should log under this and clicking on deleted items linked to a crashing the pages. Even this kind of uh, bugs also we should log under crash bugs. And the ninth one is boundary bugs. Here uh, errors are the minimum and maximum input values. If you enter for example if you enter 0 as a quantity give us a negative total or name field accept 101 character when maximum is 100 characters. Our third one is H field allows negative numbers. If H field should not accept negative numbers. Even if we are defining as 100 maximum character, then you should not take 101 character. These are all limits uh, we have given as a boundary with minimum and maximum. If it is taking beyond that, then we should log under boundary box. Tenth one is integration bugs. Integration bugs are the bugs when two or more components fails to work together. There is a problem with the integration of these two components. Then you should log as an integration issue. Certain example for this is payment gateways accept payment but does not update the order status. Here it accepts Payment gateway is working fine, but after payments, the updation order is not happening. There is an integration issue is there. You should log under integration bug. And second example is chart module sends messages, but not notification. Here also there is an integration issue is there. And the third one is inventory system does not sync with the shopping cart. Even this issue is also integration between inventory module and a shopping cart and we should log as a integration box. 11 type of bugs are regression bugs. Especially regression bugs we normally categorize under when something was previously working. The previously working feature suddenly it start break after a new update. That kind of bugs we call it as a regression bugs. For example, after a UI redesign, file upload stops working. Earlier it was working before redesign, but after redesign there is a upload stops working. Our uh, old user reports now showing blank after adding a new filter. Our third example is login errors appear, reappears after being fixed in earlier version. These are the certain things was were working earlier, but suddenly stopped with a new update means we'll have to log under regression bugs. And the last but not the least is UI bugs, which are user interface bugs, visual or layout issues in the application. For example, overlapping the text in a mobile view. If there is a overlap is there, that is a UI bugs. Our button alignment breaks on similar screen, then this is also command under UI bugs and images 
not scaling properly in a responsive layout. These also come under UI bugs category. I hope you guys got these 12 different types of bugs which we can log with uh, different conditions here. If you guys really like this video, please click on like button. If you guys are not subscribed, do subscribe. Thanks for watching this video. Bye for now. Take care.